Good day. Here we begin the process of learning how to create websites and web apps with Vudify using Banano Vudify. To create our projects, we will use the CDN version of Vudify. The elements are structured like a tree. One needs to have an div with an identifier of app, inside the body element of the page. Inside that div, we have a vapp. Then inside the vapp, we have a vmain element. In this example we have a vcontainer element inside vmain. We can also have a router view inside vmain. On the top right side we have color coded rectangles. These demonstrate how the tree with branches will look like. For the vapp, the vmain, and vcontainer we have three colors. The outer layer is the vapp, then followed by the vmain and then the vcontainer. To create this structure we will use the V4J Abstract Designer. What we have done is to create Banano Vudify AD3, a library that is based on the Banano JavaScript Transpiler, so that we are able to create Vudify websites and web apps. The Banano Vudify AD3 library depends on the Banano library. Inside AD3, there are three code classes. These are Vudify App, Vu Component, and Vu Element. Vudify app is the app compiler, Vu component is used to create components, and Vu element is used to create our user interfaces. You can download the Banano Vudify AD3 library directly from GitHub, it's an MIT licensed product. We have created a blank template that anyone can use as a starting point for their projects. Let us open this blank project using B4J. The starting point of our project is the main module. The main module builds the output for our project from the code we will write. We have also created a code module called PG Index, which will be the starting point of code for the app after calling Banano Ready. Let's run this project and see what it produces. We are using the Laragon development server, so as you can see we have a blank website opened. Let us inspect what Banano has transpiled to JavaScript. As you can see, Banano has prepared the structure of our website project in HTML and needed CSS and JavaScript files. At the moment we have not written any code for our project to make it functional, and it is just an empty project. The preparations for our project happened on the main code module, in the app start subroutine. We initialize Banano, so that it's able to transpile our B4X project to JavaScript later on, this happens when we build the app. We specify some header properties for our single page application and also add some extra meta tags. When Banano build is called, it locates Banano ready transpiles all the code and creates our website and web app. The output of what we see is the generated website by Banano. Inside the Banano Vudify library, we provided the CDN links to use for Vudify. To create our project, we referenced both Banano and Banano Vudify AD3 libraries. Let's start creating our user interface. We start the abstract designer. Our starting element will be the vapp. From the add view menu, we select custom view, followed by vu element. As this is a parent element, we resize it to fit the layout area. We give it a name, this will be the unique identifier for the HTML element in our app. We also change the tag to be vapp. The next element will be vmain, we add this, and resize it to fit inside the vapp. By placing vmain inside vapp, we build the parent-child relationship we saw earlier. The child element for vmain, is vcontainer, let's add this and also change its tag and name.
To make the V container fluid, we can check the fluid attribute. This adds the fluid attribute or property to the design of the V container. The text or caption to show on the container we also update. We finish our layout and then save it with a unique name. When our website starts, it needs to first process the base layout we have created. Our starting point for our app is the PG index init call. We update that and load our main layout there. After we load the layout, we can add other components to it and serve our application. Let's run the project. Banano will be initialized, it will transpile our project to JavaScript and create the output, after the output application is created, the default browser will be opened. When inspecting our code, the content of what was in the layout is now injected on the page. We will update the layout and uncheck the fluid attribute of the vcontainer and see what happens. So what we have done now is to create the base layout as indicated earlier on. Let's open the layout file and uncheck the fluid attribute from the vBaseline layout. We go to the vcontainer vu element, uncheck fluid and save the layout and rerun the project. As you can see, with the no longer fluid V container, the hello text is moved further. It is important that when you are debugging your application, to check on the developer tools for errors and also other things of interest. This concludes our first lesson.